In Education Matters, it's a problem that all schools must deal with. What to do with the kids who get into trouble with the law, have behavioral problems, and are constantly being kicked out of school. The Fresno County Office of Education has a system of court and community day schools that work to turn these kids' lives around. Juanita Stevenson joins us with our Education Matters segment to tell us about one of those schools. Juanita. Well, they call it the School of Second Chances, the place where students come when just about everyone else has given up on them. At the Kermit Kuntz Education Center, they don't believe in giving up. There are telltale signs that this school might be a little different than the others. Inside the classroom, the teachers always in contact with the office, always trying to engage the students. Sometimes we think, well, you know, what are we doing? It's stressful. This is Kermit Kuntz Educational Center, operated by the Fresno County Office of Education, often called the School of Second Chances, the last stop last hope for students who have been expelled from their home district. This is where they come when no school will take them. They are students like 14-year-old Isaiah Rea. I was doing good and then I started getting a little bit of trouble and then um, I got in a fight, so that's what sent me to Kermit Coons. Isaiah didn't want to be here. Said he'd heard it was a bad school full of bad students. But then when I came here, it's not, it's not that bad. It's a pretty good school. Principal Tracy Clay says the goal here is to give these students another chance at being successful in school. And it starts with the staff that believes in second chances. The team that we have here, we all want to be here. We've, we're veteran teachers. We believe in the kids. Clay says the staff works to change the students' behavior. Many of the young people who end up here don't have a mom or dad at home, no one to support them. They are looking for someone to connect with. We're very fortunate. Our campus is small, so our students have a relationship with somebody on the campus, whether it's security, whether it's our SRO, whether it's administration, the front office staff. One of those people is Steve Myers, the school resource officer. He's also a member of the Fresno Police Department, and he says he's here to make a difference. And if I can help someone, I want to help them, you know, and if it means, you know, sitting down with them and talking about uh, their, what's going on in their home, talking about what's going on in, at school, um, I want to be that person. Myers and the others who work at this campus say they are aware how the public may view these kids, but the people at Kermit Kuntz who see them every day have heard these students' stories and understand there is a reason they may have acted out at their school. My mom, I don't live with my mom, so it was hard. I had to live with my, well, I had to move in with my sister or in a foster care, but I'd rather be with my family. Here, Isaiah found a support system, people who want him to succeed and believes he can. Like with me, I know my teacher, he cares about me. Uh, he gives me chances and chances. Like, come on, Isaiah, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. I need you to do better. He tells me he cares about me, too. Like, I care about you. So they take these kids, many who have never had much success in school, and tell them they can reward them when they do, get them back on track, and back to their home school. And we're not going to reach all of our kids. We're going to try. But the ones that we do reach, wow, that's amazing. That's rewarding. Kermit Kuntz serves students grades 7 through high school, and most kids are there for one or two semesters before being able to return to their home district. I'm Juanita Stevenson with KC24 Local News. That matters. Thank you, Juanita. What a great program. Mm -hmm.